Alright, wait, what the hell was that noise? The moment I start recording, someone's banging on the wall in the other room, like, really loudly. Anyways, I said it during the investigation that once we get to the trial, I'ma blow up whoever the fuck I think it is. And I think it's about time. First of all, we gotta set some skills. Uh, open up the ebook. What we got, what we got, what we got? Uh, it's in the, um... It's under report card. We have six. Lost in thought. First of all, let me lower my TV. It's pretty loud. Not gonna lie. Hopefully, the audio from the TV doesn't come back into the microphone. Um, let's see. Ambidextrous. What does this do? Allows you to lock on the two statements at once. Effective during panic talk action. Eh, fuck it. Alright. Where is Abedestrix? Abedestrix. I don't even have that many things. Silent message. What? Focus gauge recovers faster rate affected during non-stop debate. Awesome. Uh... Where's the one I just bought? Ambidextrix. Amb ambidex ambidextrix? Oh, I can't. Hmm. Eh, whatever. I'll live without it. Okay, we finished preparations. Let's get this style- uh, Style? Let's get this trial started. Now then, let's begin with a simple explanation of the class trial. During the class trial, you will present your arguments for who the killer is and vote for who done it. If you vote correctly, then only the blackened will receive punishment. But if you pick the wrong person, I'll punish everyone besides the blackened, and that person will earn the right to leave this island. I'm sure you guys are starving by now, but let's get revved up and raring to go! Whoever survives will be treated to a fancy lunch! Guess what? Rabbit curry is on the menu! Huh? I'm not the main ingredient, right? I'm here today because Coach Nekomaru risked his life to protect me. I'm gonna be the one who avenges him. I'll definitely find out who the killer is. I'm definitely not tempted by curry. Got it? Ah, uh, goddammit, Akane. Uh, Akane, you seem to have an impressive amount of drool flowing from your mouth. Hey, why don't we try going over the incident? We weren't able to leave Strawberry House, so I want to make sure we get a detailed understanding. I like the way he says strawberry. Strawberry house. Um... I discovered Nekomaru's body a little before 7 a.m. I headed over to Grape Tower from Monokuma Taichi and found the body there. Hajime and Chiaki were also with me. Hajime was... with Miss Sonia and Chiaki that early in the morning? Oh, fuck all, Kazuichi. Seriously. Don't tell me you three were together since last night! Imbecile! I am not some woman with flexible legs! <laughs> <laughs> Flexible legs. Uh, of course you're not. You're much classier than that. With legs like those, I could probably do the splits real easy. Fucking idiot. We just happened to run into each other on the first floor of Grape House. We went to the tower together. And then, the three of us discovered Nekomaru's body. The body discovery announcement was made soon after. Akane heard that and rushed over. We heard the body discovery announcement too. From Strawberry House, obviously. As I recall, we found out the elevator was out of order, which left us stuck. I'm just looking at fucking Komaeda looking shady as shit right now. Fucking asshole. So we decided to go to the tower for the time being and headed for Strawberry Hall. But someone even broke Strawberry Hall's door button. We couldn't go anywhere because of that. Thinking we should at least find some method to communicate, we set our sights on the lounge telephone. Forget these boring intros. Let's talk about the killer! Anyway, it's definitely someone from Strawberry House. What do you mean, definitely? Oh no, yeah, it's definitely someone from Strawberry House. There's no way a chick would kill someone so cruelly. So it must be one of you Strawberry House dudes. 
One of you better hurry up and confess, or I'll break all of you in half! You're the cruelest one here! Now, now. Enough with the lover's quarrel. We need to think about this seriously. Goddamn, Jackie, throwing subs? What the fuck? We don't have the luxury of discussing irrelevant things. The incident this time has many questions. The incident notwithstanding, I also have many questions. Then let's start with something even Miss Sonia can understand. The weapon. Huh? Well, the weapon is obvious, right? Huh? What the heck, you guys? The weapon! You can totally tell just by looking. Mm, can you tell what the weapon is just by looking? The pillar. The pillar was the weapon. But they probably want me to say the hammer. I'm gonna go with pillar fragments. I guess we should figure out the weapon first. Or tipped over pillar. The weapon was right there at the scene of the crime! That pillar, huh? No, the hammer! No, the pillar. The killer used that hammer... ...and beat the crap out of him! If it was unexpected, oh. I suppose that is possible. That's right! It was a surprise beating! The weapon is decided! Hmm, the hammer in the tower uses weapon like he said, it looks like it's the case, but... Alright, what else do we have? New looking hammer? Oh, well, yeah. <laughs> New looking hammer. Right there at the scene of the crime! That pillar, huh? No, the hammer! The killer used that hammer... ...and beat the crap out of him! It's newly looking. I like how Akane is really on top of things right now. And fucking Komaeda is just an asshole, he's like, huh? Huh? No. What do you mean? I can't accept that that hammer was the murder weapon. Why not? Why can't you accept it? A lot of oil was flowing from Nekomaru's body. Just like human blood, right? If the hammer was used to beat Nekomaru, you'd expect some oil to be on it at least. But that hammer was clean. So that's why you can't accept that it's the murder weapon. Well, yeah, but the killer might have wiped off the oil later. Why? Well, obviously, to make the hammer look like it's not the murder weapon. Then why would they leave the hammer behind? Then why bother cleaning the oil? If they didn't want it to look suspicious, they would have discarded the hammer. Yeah, there you go. You're pretty insightful, baby gangsta. Baby gangsta? Me? <laughs> baby gangsta? <laughs> what? <laughs> what just happened? Just so you all know, I was trying to test you guys. I thought, maybe you guys mistook the hammer for the weapon or something. It seems that was a waste of time. Then what was the I'm real staring at the murderer. <laughs> I'm staring at the murderer. That's the problem. There wasn't anything else at the crime scene that looked like a potential weapon. Then, how about we look at it from a different angle? How about the pillar? Looks like it fell on him. If it doesn't have oil on it, it's not the weapon. So whatever has oil on it must be the weapon, right? The actual weapon has oil on it. The broken pillar! I see! The only thing with oil on it is that broken pillar. Then that pillar is the weapon! Coach Nakamaru got clobbered with that pillar! Nobody could withstand a blow from that pillar. Even if you used 100% of your muscle strength, it would be impossible to wield it as a weapon. Unless you tipped it over using the hammer. Why? We tried to move it, right? Oh, I thought it was voice. Never mind. Huff puff! It's no use. It's barely budging. Didn't I tell you? Yeah, that pillar was pretty freaking heavy. But there's one dude who could have lifted that pillar. Nakamaru. Huh? Who are you talking about? Coach Nekomaru's robot body! With that dude's super strength, lifting a pillar would be real easy. So, he lifted the pillar, and then what? Did he use it to beat himself? You mean, Nekomaru killed himself? Can't be that easy. Don't be stupid! He ain't the type to commit suicide! Then even if Nekomaru could have lifted that pillar, it has nothing to do with the case at all. <sighs> well, 
I guess you're right. What the heck? But it does bother me a little. The word suicide. By the way, the fourth murder of the killing school life was apparently ruled as suicide. Huh? No, that shouldn't matter. No way Nakamura could commit suicide. But that's a problem. If it's not the pillar, then there's no other weapon we can think of. Um, there may be a way to use the pillar as a weapon without lifting it. Huh? For reals? If you just knock it over with the hammer. Yes, for reals. You know, Sonya, you become kind of an asshole lately. I see. So my gut was right after all. All right, it's up to you, Sonya. Prove that pillar was the murder weapon. Understood. Then I shall give it my all. Give it your all. Go away. Sonya, here I go. Make your argument. Wire, good night button, tip the repeller chain, broken doorknob, oil on floor. Okay, let's see what we got. There's no need to lift that pillar. If the pillar was not lifted, beating him with it is beyond a dream. What about tipping the pillar over? They aimed right for his head and bullseye. Even I could probably tip it over. Considering the pillar's Oop, my bad. It probably exerted a ton of force. Sonya, you go, girl! <laughs> I'm getting hella excited! The killer murdered Nekmar by tipping over the pillar. Is that really it? Are you telling me it's not it? That pillar. If the pillar was not lifted, beating him with it is beyond a dream. What about tipping the pillar over? Hmm. They aimed right for his head and bullseye. Even I could probably tip it over. Considering the pillar's weight, it probably exerted a ton of force. Sonia, you go, girl! <laughs> I'm getting hella huh. excited! Alright, let's There's try... No pillar. The fragments. The pillar was not lifted. Beating him with it is beyond a dream. What about tipping the pillar over? Oh, I'm right. Huh, that was completely chance. If Nekomaru was crushed by the pillar, then there should have been fragments on top of his body. Huh? Fragments? The pillar fragments were scattered beneath Nekomaru's body, but there weren't any on top of his body. Well, my, my guess is that they just moved the body to make it look like they beat him with the hammer. Eh. Well, I guess I'm wrong about that. If the pillar had been tipped over and crushed him, the fragments should have been on top of his body instead. I briefly considered that too, but it's probably not what happened. I, I see. That was entirely my bad. If they didn't tip it over, then how did the killer murder Nekomaru with that pillar? They just tuck his head and bashed it into it. Wait, what? How much longer are you gonna focus on the pillar? Just let it go already! There, there's no way I can let it go. I'm positive that Nekomaru was killed by that pillar. Why are you so certain about that? I just have a feeling. A feeling, huh? That's just your instincts. But we can't say for sure that that instinct is wrong, can we? <laughs> can we, Komaeda? Huh? There's another way to use that pillar to kill. You guys just haven't noticed it. Is that true? Then I shall ask you, what way is that? You guys, the same as usual. Excuse me? You're unable to clear a path to the future with your own powers. So you just stand there and falter. What a waste of talent. And you all intend to fight the future foundation? You make me laugh. What did you say? Regardless, it's not like I want to die with the rest of you. So I guess I should lend a hand. What the fuck happened to Komaeda in like the span of two seconds? Hey, Nagito. 
What the hell happened to you? Thank you. I'm happy someone else is asking that question right now. How come you're not talking like a lunatic anymore? I've learned a valuable lesson. Ignorance is by far the greatest shame. Huh? What do you mean? Who cares? Just tell us how the pillar was used to kill! Well, first of all, the pillar itself is not enough. But when combined with a specific item, there's a way it could be possible. A specific item? Of course, the ultimate weapon. The ultimate weapon? Isn't that the thing you get when you clear the final dead room? So, Nagito knows what the ultimate weapon is? Of course I know, but I'm pretty sure everyone else has seen it, you know? We've seen it? That's right. You've seen it clearly. Because I, the one who has claimed dominion over evil, am the ultimate weapon! No. Gundam, you're the murderer. <laughs> I am he who cuts the insolent catalyst which flows out from the chaos with the sword of victory. It's only fitting that I deserve to be called the ultimate weapon! I mean, A, you're crazy, but B, I, I think Gundam's the murderer. No, you are far greater than the ultimate weapon, since you wield your four dark devas of destruction. I, I see. Is there, uh, is there something going on between you two? I don't know why, but I'm not liking this. I'm not liking it either, Kazuichi. Cut the bullshit and say it clearly. What is the ultimate weapon? In order to clarify that, we first need to solve the secret of the funhouse. Huh? The secret of the funhouse? You still don't realize it? Jeez, get it together. You're supposed to be the symbols of hope, aren't you? Ah, I forgot. Except for Hajime, of course. Alright, dickhead, you can go kill yourself. Except for Hajime? If we make it out of this... I'll explain it to you guys. Anyway, we must first clarify the secret of the Funhouse, right? Then I think it must have something to do with the structure of the Funhouse. Strawberry House leads to Strawberry Tower, and Grape House leads to Grape Tower. But in actuality, they are both the same building, and both houses are linked to the Central Tower. It is undeniable that such a sweet building structure is the secret of the funhouse. Sweet. What was that for? Man, not only does that make perfect sense, but Miss Sonia's beautiful voice is just so soothing. Full show. I shall leave this matter to your discretion. The two houses are connected to the tower in the middle. I thought that at first too, but... I ended up finding proof that a complete contradicts that. What? Hmm. In truth, Strawberry Tower and Grape Tower. Is it Nekamara's body? Wait, hold up. Wait, is that one? So that's Fihiko's the account. The Wall clock. Broken doorknob. Strange feeling in tower. What the fuck? Okay. To say they're both the same price. I guess we'll do strange feeling in tower. And the walls are different colors. And the designs on the floor are also different. We've already settled this problem. Give it ten years before you argue with Miss Sonia. The whole time we've been thinking two towers are the same building, but if that was the only mystery, there's no way Nagito would mention it here. In truth, Strawberry Tower and Grape Tower are actually the exact same place. So that's the secret of the Funhouse. Is that really it? It's weird to say they're both. I mean, the walls are different colors. And the designs on the floor are also different. We've already settled this problem. Give it ten years before you argue with Miss Sonia. I guess it's the first one. In truth, Strawberry Tower and Grape are actually the exact same place. Yeah, there we go. Got it. Okay, so prove to me. Hmm. Both of those towers are they really the same place? Cause I. All right, now explain this to me, Hajime, please. What? Why are you asking that now? Do you harbor a grudge because my kingdom destroyed your homeland? Excuse me. Hajime, I won't tolerate any sort of rebellion. I mean, doesn't it seem strange? 
When we went to Grape Tower from Grape Hall, Nekomaru's body was in front of the door to Strawberry Hall. Yeah, I said that. But when we went to Strawberry Tower from Strawberry Hall, his body was in front of the door to Grape Hall. Okay. It's probably some kind of trick, like the floor rotating 180 degrees. Or, something. or the elevator rotated. If it is, then see? That means it could have passed as the exact same place, right? If so, then what? Do you seriously think such a simple answer is the correct answer? Does that mean he's wrong? Oops, I guess I've said too much. If the floor didn't rotate, then that means we need to think about the structure of the building again. Bow down! What? Sonya, why? She, okay, you've been acting like a real asshole lately. Somebody moved Nekomaru's body. Well, we were moving from Grape Tower to Strawberry Tower, but we should have all been together during that time. Even if they tried to move the body inside the tower. Then Monokuma did it. While we were moving, Monokuma quickly moved things around. But Nekomaru's body wasn't the only thing moved. Are you saying the broken pillar was moved too? If it is too heavy to carry, let them roll it. Sonya, are you okay? You've been really coming at me with some heat this whole entire time. Just like if there is no bread, let them eat cake. And I don't think Monokuma would would mess with a crime scene. Well, at least in this game. Okay. There are many different ways. The body and the pillar could have been moved. The pillar could have been rolled. And Nekomaru could have been moved piece by piece. A decree it was Monokuma doing. As expected of a princess, she's overcome my argument with great confidence. I need to counter her remarks and wait for an opportunity to there repeat are many her. Different ways. Okay. The body and the pillar could have been moved. The pillar could have been rolled. And Nekomaru could have been moved piece by piece. I decree it was Monokuma doing. I ran out of cuts. What the hell? There are many different ways. The body and the pillar could have been moved. The pillar could have been rolled. And Nekomaru could have been moved piece by piece. I decree it was Monokuma doing. Ah, uh, I need one more cut. Jesus, I fucked up. There are many different ways. The body and the pillar could have been moved. The pillar could have been rolled. And Nekomaru could have been moved piece by piece. I decree it was Monokuma doing. I'm out of cuts, what the hell? There are many different ways. Oh, I fucked up. I fucked up already. What the hell? The body and the pillar could have been moved. The pillar could have been rolled. And Nekomaru could have been moved piece by piece. I decree it was Monokuma's doing. Hacha. <laughs> Fuck. I can't. Okay. There are many different ways. The body and the pillar could have been moved. The pillar could have been rolled. And Nekomaru could have been moved piece by piece. I decree it was Monokuma's doing. How the... What? There are many Is there something I'm ways. missing here? The body and the pillar could have been moved. The pillar could have been rolled. And Nekomaru could have been moved Oop, wrong piece button. Piece. I decree it was Monokuma's doing. Oh, wait, you know what? Fuck it. I gotta let her beat me. There are many different Maybe ways. I just gotta let her beat me. Hold up. The body and the pillar could have been moved. The pillar could have been rolled. And Nekomaru could have been moved piece by piece. I decree it was Monokuma's doing. Damn it! There 
there are many different ways. Okay. The body and the pillar could have been moved. The pillar could have been rolled. And Nekomaru could have been moved piece by piece. I decree it was not a pillar's doing. Fuck, I don't have enough cuts to do that. Wait, what the hell? What's going on here? There are many different ways. Wait, I'm sorry. Excuse me? The body and the pillar could have been moved. Chains, pillar, broken door knob. The pillar could have been water. Rolled. And Nekomaru could have been moved piece by piece. What the hell? I decree it was Monokuma's doing. I'm gonna go with chains, first of all. Damn it! There are many different ways. What the fuck is happening here? The body and the pillar could have been moved. The pillar could have been rolled. And Nekomaru could have been moved piece by piece. I decree it was Monokuma's doing. Hiya. Fucking, I don't... I'm having a real challenge here. What the fuck? I need to counter her remarks and wait for an opportunity to refute her. There are many different ways. Okay. The body and the pillar could have been moved. The pillar could have been rolled. And Nekomaru could have been moved piece by piece. I decree it was Monokuma's doing. I don't have enough cuts to do that. What the hell? I don't... There are many different ways. I'm actually at a at a the I'm stuck the here. The pillar could have been moved. The pillar could have been rolled. And Nekomaru could have been moved piece by piece. I decree it was Monokuma's doing. There are many different ways. The body and the pillar could have been moved. The pillar could have been rolled, and Nekomaru could have been moved piece by piece. I decree it was Monokuma's doing. You know what I just realized? Um, I'm attacking them too much. I was attacking them too much, and I had to wait for them to, to appear at the same time. That might be hard even for Monokuma, don't you think? It seems you have forgotten. Monokuma is surprisingly strong. Wielding the pillar, the body, everything at the crime scene? I'm sorry, what? Crap! It seems you have forgotten. Okay. Monokuma is surprisingly strong. Wielding the power of the futuristic Robo Bear. The pillar, the body, everything at the crime scene? He could have moved it all easy as pie. It seems you have forgotten. Monokuma is surprisingly strong. Wielding the power of the futuristic the pillar, the body, everything could have moved it all easy as pie. It seems you have forgotten. Monokuma is surprisingly strong. Wielding the power of the futuristic Robo Bear. The pillar, the body, everything at the crime scene. He could have moved it all easy as pie. I want to get all the all the words. I'm having a little difficulty here. Monokuma is surprisingly strong. Wielding the power of the futuristic robot, the pillar, the body, everything at the crime scene could have moved it all easy as pie. Okay, so just hitting that at all damages me. All right, so I'm just gonna avoid those. Damn it! There are many different ways. But I'm running out of time. I ran out of time already. I got like a handful of seconds. The pillar could have been rolled. And Nekomaru could have been moved piece by piece. I decree it was Monokuma's doing. Moving the body and the pillar in such a short time. That might. Yeah, I ran out of time. All right. No, I know what I gotta do now. I fucked it up. I fucked it up. Everybody doubts me automatically because I have no talent. <laughs> All right, let's do that again. We will never give up! I really fucked that one up, like, really badly. It's been a while. It's been a while since we did the trials. There are many different ways. The body and the pillar could have been moved. The pillar could have been rolled. And Nekomaru could have been moved piece by piece. I decree it was Monokuma's doing! 
Moving the body in the pillar in such a short time. That might be hard even for Monokuma, don't you think? It seems you have forgotten. Monokuma is surprisingly strong, wielding the power of the future with the pillar of the body. Oops, didn't mean to hit that. Shit. It all. Easy as pie. Damn it, I fucked up. I meant to hit those words at the same time. Forgotten. Monokuma is surprisingly strong, wielding the power of the future. I'm gonna leave that one alone. The pillar of the body. And that the one. Crime scene. He could have moved it all easy as pie. Gonna attack these. Huh. Okay. It seems you have forgotten. Monokuma is surprisingly strong. Wielding the power of the futuristic Robo Bear, the pillar, the body, everything at the crime scene. Nope. Crap. It seems you have. There's got to be something him. wrong with that, right? The oil? Monokuma Did he move the oil? Surprisingly strong. Wielding the power of the futuristic Robo Bear, the pillar, the body, everything at the crime. There we go. Through those words. I was like, wait a minute. I'm like, either it's the chain on the door or it's the fucking oil or something. It is possible. But it would have been impossible to move the oil on the floor. Huh? When the position of Nekomaro's body in the pillar changed, the oil surrounding his body moved too. Physically moving all of the oil like that is simply not possible, no matter how you look at it. Then it's impossible to think it was moved. I am, I am terribly sorry. I cannot believe I got so fired up. I can't believe you got so fired up too. Like you, you're coming at me with a lot of heat right now. I don't know what's happening to you. It's all right. A fired up Miss Sonia is awesome to watch. It's Kazuichi, shut up. So what really happened? Does that mean the two towers aren't the same building? Hmm. We can't be certain of that either. Not when the experiment involving the handbook I left on the tower floor was a complete success. Yeah, the E handbook was still there. That's why we thought the two towers were the same building. If they're not the same building, or two different buildings, then what are they? A complete copy of the other building? I don't know. Shit. No idea, huh? This mystery ties into the secret of the fun house. But we don't have enough clues to solve that mystery. Then, the only thing we can do is rely on the one person who has those clues. Komaeda! Hey, Nagito. I thought it would come to this. I knew my turn was coming up. You're fucking full of shit. Fine. I'll tell you guys a big hint that can help you solve the secret of the funhouse. Give us the answer, not a friggin' hint! But then it wouldn't mean anything. I need you guys to do this class trial properly. It's also important for me because it will help me determine something. Determine? Is he talking about the traitor? If so, why did Nagito say that all of a sudden? Did something happen to him? But how do we know your hint is any good? It's suspicious that you're the only one who knows it. I have a good reason for that. The reason I'm the only one who knows it is because I was the only one who performed the appropriate action. He performed the appropriate action in order to learn the secret. Could he be talking about the life-threatening game? I see! You're talking about the final dead room, right? You cleared the life-threatening game there and found something, didn't you? That's right. The hint is what I saw after I cleared it. In the depths of the final dead room, there was a hidden room surrounded by concrete. And there, a small conspicuous window waited, all by itself. From that window, I saw some very strange scenery. Strange scenery? Instead of explaining it, it might be faster just to show you. At an opportune time, I found a perfect camera in the final dead room. You took a picture? Yep. Naito grinned creepily as he revealed. <laughs> what? My bad, not revealed. Retrieved the small digital camera from his inner pocket. See? This is it. 
and he and as he said, he showed us a particular particular peculiar picture. What? Let me explain it to you again. I took this picture on the first floor of Strawberry House from the secret room within the final dead room. You took this from the first floor. So the first floor is actually like a third floor or something? But don't you think it's weird? If the Funhouse's structure is what you guys have been thinking, then there's lots of things that don't make sense in this picture, right? If it's the first floor, why the fuck are you on top of pine trees? Lots of things. That should make sense in this picture, hmm? Then let's begin. Shall I call it... Thinking time? What does it seem... What doesn't make sense in this picture? Well, the fucking trees for once, if it's the first floor. Like, come on, guys. You said this photo was taken from the hidden room inside the final dead room, right? If that's the case, then that means it should have been taken from the first floor of Strawberry House. Yeah, it should have been. Then, this is definitely strange. This photo doesn't look like it was taken from the first floor. The angle suggests it was taken from higher up. I see. And is that it? Naito said there's a lot of things that doesn't make sense in this photo. Which means there's another contradiction contained within it. Doesn't make sense. Well, the building... Only entire picture that we all think of the which means unnatural at all, don't you agree? Everyone's starting to look. Just made a fool of myself. Hmm. Crap! I mean, I can only think of the trees. What? The sky, maybe? Don't think the sky has anything for us. Here. Wait, what? How? If the structure of the fun house is what we thought it was. Grape House and Strawberry House should link to the tower in the middle. Which means, if you're viewing the tower from Strawberry House, you should see Grape House behind it. Oh, shit, you're right. But in this photo, I don't see anything behind the tower. No shadow, no shape, no Grape House at all. That's right. Good call. In summary, this is the truth contained in this photo. The first floor of Strawberry House is located in a high area, and Grape House is not behind the tower. It's not? Are you saying that Grape House is merely an illusion spell cast by Monokuma's cursed eye? Well, that can't be it, right? Because if it was, then... Okay, the, the main problem that I see here that I don't understand is fucking... Alright. How the fuck were they able to be separated? From this point on, do your own thinking. Now that you've finally met the same requirements as me. If you guys are truly symbols of hope, you can easily solve a simple mystery like this. It might be possible for Hajime to solve it too, even though he's just a normal high school student. Despite the fact that you don't have a real talent, you already know about the other clue. The other clue? Is he talking about that one time? Why, hello there, Hajime. Nagito, why are you here? Because I showed up. You showed up. How'd you even come here? Maybe I teleported. You're referring to when you suddenly appeared on the second floor of Grape House, right? I'm asking you just to be safe. At the time, where do you think I came from? A trap door? The top floor, right? Such sharp eyes. So you realized it already. Top floor? So the third floor? But the Monokuma Archive should be the only room on the third floor of Grape House. What does it mean? Was that... what the fuck? Okay. Alright. This funhouse bullshit is getting on my nerves. Was that thing just now another hint to figure out what the mystery behind the funhouse was? The reason Nagito appeared from the third floor. Using the photo he took, I might be able to find the answer if I just think about it. 
All right, let's do it. Diving into my head. Logical dive. All right, I forgot the controls on this shit already. That's to go faster, right? Yeah, and then this is the break, and then just the, what's the jump? Triangle. Good thing I found out at the last second. All right, got some speed boosts. Uh oh, shit! <laughs> this Sonic the Hedgehog bullshit. Oh, fuck! Going a little bit too fast. Gotta go fast. Question one: Do Strawberry House and Grape House both exist? Uh, both exist? What the fuck? Uh, they don't. I'm taking this as both as like both in the same time. That's a fucking lie. All right, cause I was thinking they don't exist because there's just one building, but I guess I mean they both do exist, of course. Cause if they didn't, then we would have, we've all would have been. <sighs> there would be no point in separating the guys and the girls. Oh shit. Come on, you appeared at the last second. You can't be doing that bullshit. Okay. Question two. Are Strawberry House and Grape House the same building or two different ones? Well, they're the same building now. Wait, what? Wait, are they the same building? Wait, hold up. It's bullshit. Uh, I want to say they're the same building. You're confusing me with this logic. With this logic dive. With reverse psychology. How Strawberry House and Grape House position within each other vertically. Definitely vertically at this point. Okay, so, alright, they exist, they're the same building and vertically. The only different thing, the only thing that's different from what I thought is that they exist vertically, because I, just like everyone else, I thought they exist horizontally and they were just the same building, but whatever. At first, I thought they existed vertically, and then when they drew the map of it, I was like, oh, I guess they do exist horizontally. I know the secret of the funhouse. But what's the secret of it? Then let me hear it. What kind of answer will you give, I wonder? In the picture Nagito took from Strawberry House, I didn't see Grape House at all. So where did Grape House go? There was only one possibility. It was in a position where it couldn't be seen from Strawberry House. Which means Strawberry House and Grape House are in the same building, but on different floors. Same building, different floors? Then... The two houses aren't two different three-story buildings. So, I would assume that the big circle room just elevated and descended? That would make sense. They're actually one six-story building? If you think about it like that, based on Nagito's picture, it's clear where Strawberry House is located. Where Strawberry House is located, the floor above Grape House. I see! On top of Grape House. That's where Strawberry House is located. Because of that, the photo taken from the first floor of Strawberry House was at a high angle. Altogether, this means the first floor of Strawberry House is also the fourth floor above Grape House. Oh snap! I never expected that the two houses were connected vertically! You're acting very weird, Sonya. More weird than Gundam, and I'm pretty sure Gundam's the murderer. But what about the shape of the building? The two houses were completely different shapes! Um, Strawberry House is four-sided, and Grape House is six-sided, right? It never occurred to us that they were the same building because it was structured with two different shapes. A quadrilateral and a hexagon. 
overlaid atop each other to misdirect how we would perceive them. And it worked, didn't it? Disregarding the tower, we fully believed the two houses were two separate, distinct buildings. In order to conceal the unique design of the fun house, Monokuma put us to sleep so we couldn't look at the outside of the building when he brought us to it. You've just been Kumad! <laughs> Don't you think a building full of so many surprises totally deserves to be called a fun house? Then it's true? The building was really like that? That's right! Those two houses exist on different floors in the same building! Constructing a building like that on your own without my knowledge? H how horrible! Then what about the towers? Are they arranged vertically just like the houses? Yeah, Strawberry Tower and Grape Tower should have also been different floors inside the same building. Unless it's an elevator. Just like Strawberry House was on top of Grape House, Strawberry Tower was also on top of Grape Tower. However, if they're different floors within the same building, why was Nekumaru's body in both places? Ah, your precious hammies don't know? But it's so simple! Alrighty then, I'll be the one who solves this mystery in a flash. Please watch me, Miss Sonia. Oh, I see. Do whatever you like. She's just been... You've been a real, like, asshole lately, Sonia. Uh, what the hell? I'm gonna stand out till she notices me! Okay, Monokuma file. I assume Monokuma file is the answer. I'm gonna solve this mystery in a flash! Then hurry up, dumbass! One of the bodies in one of the towers was actually a dummy! Wow. Good job. You mean a fake body? Nekumaru died with a mechanical body. It should be possible to construct a dummy from spare parts. You're a magnificent, Gundam! No fair! You totally stole my spotlight! So which one was a fake body? Shut up! Just Oops, my bad. Didn't mean to do that. I want to review what is the Monokuma file actually says. Okay. Nygmar after the robotic transformations, but discovering Great Tower, which is fine. He is fairly damaged and beyond repair, so shall be concerned the cause of death. Despite the fact that his arms and legs are disassembled, these limbs were actually designed to be detachable, and it seems they separated due to the severe impact. Aside from that, several other areas of his body are damaged because of this. Many of his functions seem to have shut down. Okay, so Monokuma file probably isn't the answer. What what do we have here? Dummy of Nekamaru does exist. Does it mean killer? Prepared in advance. It was something, something like that even possible? I'm solve All right. This mystery in a flash. And hurry up, dumbass! One of the bodies in one of the towers was actually a dummy. You mean a fake body? Why are a good night bug died with a mechanical body? It should be possible to construct a dummy from spare parts. You're magnificent! No fair! You so which one? Shut up! Just pick one of them! I'm gonna solve this! And hurry up! One of the bodies was actually a dummy! Mm. You mean a fake body? Nekumaru died with a mechanical body. Alright, no, hold up. Let me try Monokuma parts. file and on dummy. So which one? I'm gonna use that on dummy, see what happens. I'm gonna solve this and hurry up! One of the bodies was actually a dummy! Nope. Alright. Damn it! So we have dummy and mechanical I'm bodies, so. This mystery in a flash. And hurry up, dumbass! One of the bodies in one was actually a dummy! Do -do. You mean a fake body? Nekumaru died with a mechanical body. Damn it! Alright, hold up. Let's see what happens if we take Gundam's statement and use it on Kazuichi's. Nekumaru died with a mechanical body. Mechanical body. It should be possible to- You're magnificent! No fair! You so which one- Shut up! Just pick one of them!
I'm gonna solve this mystery in a f and hurry up, dumb. One of the bodies and was actually a dummy. Damn it! Huh. I've been stumped on these it. things lately. Up, they've been uh they've been getting to me. They have one of the bodies and I've been beaten. Was actually a dummy. You mean a fake body? Nekumaru died with a mechanical body. Damn it! What the fuck? Okay, hold up. What do we have? This mystery in a flash. Chain, broken doorknob. Dumbass! Broken doorknob. Was actually a dummy! You mean a fake body? Nekumaru died with a mechanical body. It should be possible to construct a dummy from spare parts. You're magnificent, Gundam! No fair! You totally stole my So which one was a fake? Shut up! Just pick one of them! I'm gonna solve this mystery in a flash! Then hurry up, dumbass! One of the bodies in one of the towers... ...was actually a dummy! Huh. Damn it! I'm gonna see- Alright, let's see what we got. Let's see what we got, because I'm dumb and I'm stupid. And this is actually getting to me. This game is getting to me more than the first one did. Force to enter sleep mode. Tipped over pillar. Chain. Door not found on the tipped over pillar. Screws based on pulled out. And there was so many scratch. Uh, one of the doorknobs from the her back to what the fuck? Okay. Solve this mystery in a flash. And hurry up, dumbass. Broken doorknob. Was actually a. You mean a fake? Nekumaru died. It should be possible. You're magnificent. No fair. You so which one? Shut up. Just pick one of them. I I don't know what to pick, guys. I don't know what to do. I'm I'm stumped. The bodies and was actually a dummy. Damn. Damn it. Either what Gundam says or what Kazuichi says is something stupid. And hurry up, dumbass! One of the bodies in one of the towers was actually a dummy! You mean a fake? Nekomaru died with a mechanical body. I, I'm at the point where I'm just trying random things on random things. I don't. I. Up, what? Dumbass. One of the bodies was actually I'm, I'm stupid. a dummy! Chain, dummy. I don't know. Shit. Damn it! I'm just gonna keep doing it. I'm gonna solve this and hurry up. One of the bodies. Because this one is just. I, I. I don't. I don't see anything. Damn it! I'm gonna solve this mystery in a flash. And hurry up, dumbass! One of the bodies in one of the towers. Was actually a dummy. Nope. That doesn't work. I'm gonna solve this and hurry up. One of the bodies was actually a. You mean a fake? Nekomaru died with a mechanical body. Nope. You guys got me on this one. You guys uh I'm gonna definitely solve cooked my goose. Wrong buttons. And hurry up, dumbass! Strange one feeling in tower. In what the hell? Towers. Was actually a dummy. What? No, it's bullshit. Wrong. I did it at the last second. It's bullshit. I would never use to. I would never Nekumaru's think to use the same answer twice. That can be proven by Kazuichi's account. 